Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 3rd of March and I have a rather interesting rumour regarding Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. As there is a rumour currently going around that the game may allow you to take control of Alucard and this is according to information taken from the game's text files. Now, this was reportedly discovered by the CS Rin RU user Ubi Sergey, and the information does say that the game will offer the opportunity to quote players Alucard and discover the true extent of Alucard's involvement. And the description reads, quote, Play as Alucard in this extensive add-on for Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. The immersive story is expanded further as new branches of the plot are uncovered along with rich new environments and challenging puzzles. Fight creatures of darkness and discover the true extent of Alucard's involvement in Dracula's story, his deal with death and his fight against Satan. Experience a whole new aspect of the thrilling conclusion to the Lords of Shadow saga, including some enlightening revelations. So there you have it, a rather interesting rumour that could be either potentially good or bad news depending on your perspective. Now Alucard is of course a classic character in the Castlevania franchise and of course was the star of pretty much the best Castlevania game ever made, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So it would be nice to see him return I think but obviously Lords of Shadow 2 was met with mixed results. I think some people loved it, some people hated it. So the people who hated it may not want to see Alucard actually appearing in the game that they felt wasn't the game they were looking for, wasn't part of the Castlevania series, yada yada yada. But I think mostly this will be an interesting piece of DLC. Of course, we don't know anything regarding the storyline, the price, release date, anything like that. Just as there's a rumour this is going to be happening. Now, obviously, if it was found in the text files, then Mercury Steam did consider it at some point. But whether or not they actually are going to go through with it is another matter entirely. I guess it would kind of depend on how well, actually, Lords of Shadow 2 ends up doing its success and that sort of thing. Because obviously it doesn't sell that well, then it's not really beneficial to them to actually work on DLC. Hopefully it does get released, though, but we'll have to see. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.